Hello and welcome to Excel Tutorials from IT Army and this is tutorial number 16 and in the previous couple of videos you were talking about functions and formulas and different type of references and when you use formulas and functions you might encounter some errors and this is the list of errors that you might encounter so we are going to talk about these different errors why they occur and what is the solution how to fix these errors so let's get started so the first error that you are seeing is a bunch of pound signs and people also call it railroad track error the two main reasons behind this type of error is either the column is not wide or you are entering a negative value for a date and time so let's see as an example so by default whenever you are entering some data in microsoft excel if it is a text data it automatically flows over to the next column if you enter some text over here also it gets clipped off but it is still there you can see in the formula bar but that is not the case with the number if I enter some numerical data it automatically stretches the column same way if I enter if I enter some date and time it automatically stretches the column but if I have already adjusted the width of a column and now if I try to enter some data it automatically tries to convert to scientific notation if it is a number so if I put it as a number or put some other format it gives this error or if I put date and time if I put date it gives error if I put time it gives error so the simple solution for this kind of error is just you need to make the column wide enough so that you can store the data, it can show the data other type of error that you may see is in case if you are entering a negative value for a date or a time field if you have formatted a cell as a date or a time so by default when I enter some data suppose 1st January 2018 it gets formatted as date and if I enter over here 8 8 a.m. it gets formatted as time now in this case if I enter suppose minus 1 over here any negative value is gonna give me this error and same is the case over here also if I try to put some negative value suppose minus 0.5 is gonna give me error so this is not the case of width even if I make it much more wider this is not gonna go so the only solution over here is if you are intending to store numerical value you just need to format it to number and then it will start showing those no values or if you are intending to store as a date show as a date so just ensure that whatever formula you are writing that formula is correct so it should not return a negative value so uh, this was how to fix up this railroad track errors now going on to the hash value error the reason behind this hash value error is that you are using some function or formula and you are providing some invalid values so for example if I'm performing addition I can say equals to a1 plus b1 it works perfectly fine but if I enter some non numerical data over here you get hash value same is the case with functions also if any function expects an integer and if you try to provide it a non integer value is gonna give error so suppose I have a value minus 10 and I try to use a function called as abs that returns the absolute value so it will remove the minus sign so abs of b3 and it's gonna give me 10 but if I try to over here if I try to put over here 1 it's gonna give me error so like this any function that is expecting a particular data type and you are providing some other data type is gonna give you error now coming on to the third value that is divided by 0 it's pretty clear that whenever you try to perform a division by 0 is gonna give you this error so in case in your formula if you're simply typing 1 divided by 0 you're gonna get this error or if you have two numbers and you say equals to a4 divided by a5 is gonna give you this error also we have some functions available like we have equals to quotient function we have quotient function quotient requires numerator and denominator so if I provide one as numerator comma the cell a5 as denominator is gonna give me error so like this we have a lot of other functions that can give you this kind of error so you just need to refer the documentation that what function can return what kind of error now talking about the hash ref function this hash ref function you're gonna see in case if you are referencing to a address that doesn't exist so in this case for example if I have in A1 I put number and B1 I put some number and I say equals to A1 plus B1 and I press enter key so in this case if I delete this column so if I just right click and say delete 
and now you see it's giving a reference error so this is the case of reference error another example would be suppose if i have some numbers and i perform addition equals to a4 plus b4 right so you know that relative referencing how it works it looks from the left two cells and is performing the addition but if i copy this value and i paste it over here in this case also it's trying to look two cells on the left hand side but you see over here we have only one cell that's why we are getting this error so it's able to find just immediate next cell but on the left hand side further we don't have any cells so in this case also you get reference error so when you perform copy paste um, this kind of error may occur now moving on to the hash null error this null error is basically used in intersection so suppose if i enter some data over here and some values and i say equals to I select a range a space and I select a range so in these two ranges wherever you find the intersection that whatever number is common that number is returned so this way we get this value but in this case if I create one more formula I say I want to have intersection between this cell space and I select this cell so in this case you can see that these two ranges they are not intersecting or they are not crossing each other so in this case you will be getting this hash null error so that's the reason behind hash null now talking about the hash name error as the name suggests you are referencing to some name that doesn't exist so it could be a function mistype so if you are using some function for example I can say I'm using some and instead of typing some you mistype as some a or something else and then you pass on the arguments and you press enter key and you get hash name hash name also you can get later on we are going to talk about naming the cells so by default whatever names you are seeing a1 a2 we can give our custom names so so i can say equals to sum of salary right so and we have not created any named range by the name salary so it's given is going to give me the same error so uh, later on advanced modules we're going to talk about this error now talking about the hash num this also as name suggests that it's basically used in formulas where it's expecting a particular range of values and you are providing some invalid values for example we have a sqrt function that calculates the square root of a number and a square root can only be of a positive number so if i try to provide minus 9 is going to give me hash num error or if i try to do a logarithmic function we have log if i try to find the log of a negative number is gonna give me error or any other functions maybe we have a lot of date and time related functions if I say equal to uh, date and I provide some neg negative values over here is gonna give me error so like this you can see in the documentation you're gonna find what all different functions can give you this error depending on the value so the main thing over here is that the numbers are expected we are providing number but the range of numbers expected that we are not following so that's why you are getting this hash num error now coming back to the last one hash na and this hash na function you'll be getting mostly in case of lookup functions later on we're gonna have module on lookup we have a complete range of lookup functions over here we look up patch lookup match indirect in those functions you're gonna get this error so it's basically if you are looking up for some value and that is not available so na basically stands for not available and in some cases when you're entering the data and some data is not available you can manually also type that thing you can say simply hash n slash a and it will tell you that uh, the value is not available so uh, i cannot show you the function uh, how to use the vlookup it's a more advanced topic we're going to talk about that thing later on but this is how we can solve different type of function errors so hope you like this video if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video